the most Afro picks. See? In an Afro. You ready? This is going to be heavy. <laughs> this is already heavy at like what I have. Whoa! Ow! Black slaves and white indentured servants are equally exploited. Their work is what was valuable, not their person. Then laws begin to distinguish between black and white. 1640 is sort of the turning point where Africans are going to be treated differently. And slavery spreads across all the colonies. People are being considered property. The downward spiral begins. An entire economy based on exploitation of Africans is in place within a generation. Human progress is neither automatic nor inevitable. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be learning more about the history of the American Civil Rights Movement. The end of the American Civil War in 1865 effectively meant the end of slavery, but African Americans were in for a long struggle before they were finally awarded equal rights. As of 1870, all eligible male citizens were able to vote. However, blacks were discouraged to by violence and eventually legal stipulations. In 1896, the Supreme Court ruled to maintain racial segregation in private businesses in a case called Plessy v. Ferguson, the March Soon on Washington of August 1963. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discourse of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. Capturing the attention of the media and the population, this event attracted hundreds of thousands of people in support of civil rights. Following that, the Voting Rights Act of 1965 ended the prejudiced voting system. Instantly effective, blacks began voting and running for public office. However, just days later on August 11th, a violent six-day riot in the Los Angeles neighborhood of Watts resulted in rights 34 leaders deaths. Continued th when Martin Luther King Jr. was killed in April equality. 1968. This is the meaning of our liberty and our creed, why men and women and children of every race and every faith can join in celebration across this magnificent mall and why a man whose father less than 60 years ago might not have been served at a local restaurant can now stand before you to take a most sacred oath. The law was a resounding defeat for abolitionists. Local officials would receive the hefty sum of $10 for every African American handed over to slave catchers. It is the beginning of a reign of terror to the colored population, Harriet declared. As danger mounted, scores of Harriet's friends and neighbors fled to Canada.